All right, so without further ado, here's the brand new Ramon promo that really doesn't make much sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love a nice dip in the tranquil blue ocean? Oh, that looks like a dorsal fin. Carcaridon carcarius, if I'm not mistaken. One moment. Ramon, open your veins. Damn. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. That was a fucking. That was an Achilles pole. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, uh, that was painful. Highbrow. 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 Well, yeah, the yeah. best part of these, uh, Brian. He he loves to explain them. So now here's the explanation. <laughs> here's the explanation. All right. Uh, he just happens to love when when he does leave his house. He does you know take a, a nice drive in his Bentley, or sometimes he'll go out into into the ocean. He loves swimming in the ocean. You know. Right. Very, you know, right. The, the salt sick. water keeps him very yeah, buoyant. Crazy person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, he's not going to go without Ramon. Well, he happens to be uh, swimming in the ocean, and he sees a dorsal fin. Well, you know, he's certainly not, gonna, certainly not going to stick around for long. But at the same time, he's rather humanitarian and wants to make sure the shark, you know, comes, what he, comes for what he came for, which was a, a, a nice meal. So he has to make sure that Ramon... Oh, oh is that what... Wait, 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 uh, Ramon seems to have survived everything else he's been put through, so I guess he's of the mind that Ramon doesn't matter. There's, Ramon's there's really a million irrelevant. other Ramones waiting to take over. Uh -huh. Kind of like the you know that that room there. Like those oh, guys are just oh. there's people waiting to step right in. Why are they giving me the finger? But Ramon's <laughs> life hasn't been in danger before. I mean, he's used Ramon's sleeve to wipe his ass. He's, he, well, he's, he put out a cigar in Ramon's mouth once. That wasn't very good. Kill you. <laughs> Brian, this is. I want to put out a cigar in your mouth. Yeah. This is this is going to be on the DVD as part of the extras. Ah, man. You know? <laughs> so it was really, but I think I think the thought process was was yeah, we've set the bar so high, and every, like two of them have involved human feces at this point. Yeah. So you can only go to the shit barrel so many times. That's it. Before you know, and so we were trying to think. Well, would Ramon ever put a grenade in his mouth? Would Ramon ever eat a poisoned apple? Would Ramon ever do this? So you know, let's have Ramon get consumed by a shark. Hmm. That one didn't work apparently. What was the what was the official name for the shark? Uh Carcaridon carcarius. Exactly. Ugh. It's a great white shark. <laughs> I, actually, I, I went and did research. I went and did research to find out what, what you an eccentric Jaws? No, I, went, I think they use that in Jaws. Yeah. It's one yeah. of the lines in Jaws. It is actually, but you I went and need a better line. <laughs> <laughs> is that a type of shark? It's a great white. A Carcaridon oh, carcarius oh. is a great white. <laughs> okay. Well, you Ramon, know, and... close the beaches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that Kintner boy bombing all over the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, there's the music, meaning we have to wrap up. Oh, what uh, blows. We're just getting into it, Brian. Having fun today. Martini Steve, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for Martini trying. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Yeah, man. <laughs> and now, another holiday reading from Charles Dickens' immortal classic, A Christmas Carol. When Scrooge awoke, it was so dark that looking out of bed, he could see meddling carolers every bloody year. Bah, humbug. Ramon, fetch the nail gun. All right, uh, Nathaniel, let's uh, debut the brand new Ramon promo here as Steve's in studio. Golfing is a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. A true test of dexterity, skill, and... Oh, seems to have landed in some dog mess. Oh, not again. Ramon, wash my balls. <laughs> I liked it, except for the fact that you said dog mess. What? It was, dog it was, mess. You could have said dog shit. I could have said dog shit, but I was trying to, I guess, I guess choose choose the words a little bit more. Um, I want to know distinctly. I want to know how long you sat there and toiled as to how can I make it balls? Um, <laughs> like he's just one ball goes in the shit. I gotta have this motherfucker tee off twice. He wakes up. Interesting. You should mention that because oh I really God. agonized I know over he that. Agonized over. Clean my ball doesn't make sense. Yeah. He's got to do it twice. Yep. He, he wakes up hearing the punchline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. He's, he's absolutely right. Over the over the vacation, I was driving. No, he toiled over that. I was driving uh, to pick up uh, to pick up the mail in the PO box, and I I said, 
you know what? I got to figure out how to get him to say Ramon wash my balls or Ramon clean my balls. And for two days, I was setting yeah. up the scenario, and one golf ball didn't make sense. Uh huh. So it had to be two golf balls. So he had, had to tee to... off twice. It's, it's... You didn't really give him much time to tee up the ball. And... Yeah, but it's you know yeah. what it is? It's it's a home driving range. It's a home driving range. Oh, and is it? So it's he's he's there, and I guess what's the what's the proper term? Chipping or slicing? I guess it's really not in the air long before it it hits. Right, he's uh... just chipping some chipping some golf ball. Exactly. So it's uh so that's where it's going before it hits the pile of dog. And crap. why is there dog crap on his driving range? Because he's got a dog, and sometimes why dog... hasn't Ramon cleaned up the dog shit? Ramon's getting lazy apparently. So. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, right. It's, it's, so, He's psychotic. among Ramon's responsibilities would be, of course, to clean the dog shit off the golf course. But today he hasn't, so he's got to wash the golf balls. Right. Of course. And, and it, was it two separate piles of dog shit that he hit? <laughs> yes, indeed it was. Wow. Yeah, no, he's not because because now I would assume the place is <laughs> littered with dog shit if two separate balls actually hit dog shit. And how could he tell immediately that he hit dog shit? You don't you don't hit a right. ball five feet. You hit it a hundred yards. How could you yeah. see? Well, that it was in dog if you shit. Listen, do, really, the ball was not in midair that long, so it really obviously hit. Now I gotta shit. hear it again. Yeah. All right, let's hear it again. This is the brand new Ramon promo. Golfing is a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. A true test of dexterity, skill, and, oh, seems to have landed in some dog mess. Oh, not again. Ramon, wash my balls. So what? what is he swinging it into a okay, wall terrific. of dog shit? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's the guy running for the old guy. Look, he's stepped oh. on his brakes. <laughs> oh, there's the brake lights. <laughs> oh. Yeah, dumb old codger. <laughs> yeah. They've been playing that clip on CNN, the old guy driving into the water. Uh, well, Steve, All right, I like it. Um, <laughs> it's a little weird, the whole two piles of shit. And, uh, yeah, because yeah, so many of it a little. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have said doggy mess, but I still like it. Thank you very much. And the swing did sound a lot more like a driver than a. Of course it wasn't a, a putt. Iron, a, a no, I didn't say it was wedge. a putt. Oh, all right. I didn't say it was a putt something. <laughs> And for the speed of the club, you know, it didn't it sound like the ball hit too quickly? Uh, uh, yeah, no. of course it did. <laughs> Whack land! <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was in the air for maybe a second and a half, so that gives it, what, a good maybe 30 yards? No. No. No, no, it did, no, no. Not 10 yards? No. no. A second and a half no. would go a lot further than that. Really? Go, yeah, yeah. It, and, and it, it, he'd be lofting it in the air. It would actually be in the air pretty long in a high arc. If he was chipping and, and swinging this club that quick, well, maybe he's not that good. Maybe it's actually going off to the side a little bit. Maybe he's got a, a slice. Or and maybe he's very yeah. slow in his life, except for that part, because he talks very slowly. Right. I'm going to play golf. <laughs> hit chip, hit chip. <laughs> now, Ramon. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thank you, Steve. That's good. Very good.